Well, Stevie Richardson was on a path to hopefully one day become a professional basketball player. But upon graduating college in Oklahoma, he learned that he had a four year old daughter back in California. So after returning home to be near her, Stevie eventually found a new purpose as one of the premier basketball trainers for boys and girls here in the Inland Empire. Stevie Richardson runs Stay Fresh Academy in Cheatham for boys and girls of all ages. He's made it his life's work to instill confidence and work ethic into the kids he trains. But it took betting on himself for his passion and purpose to intersect. I came back here, I got a four-year-old daughter. I graduated, what am I gonna do? I'm at Applebee's for like a year and a half. I'm working. A doctor, I'll never forget her, her name was Connie. She was having coffee and she's just, I was interacting with her. She's like, yo, do you ever think about training kids? And I was like, uh, no, nah, but I'm sure I could. She was like, well, you got a great personality. My son plays basketball. I would love for him to meet you. Maybe you could help. And it was just like, yo, this is what I'm supposed to be doing with my life. So I told my mom, it's, you only get one chance to live your purpose. And I feel like my passion and my purpose is the same thing. So like right now, I'm just living it. And so it's just been the biggest blessing. I walked out the gym feeling just like a brand new person every time like I got in a workout with him because it wasn't just like the skills he was teaching me with basketball, it was just life lessons and like confidence. He's tough. So if you're weak minded, you can't you can't accept the challenge, you can't accept somebody getting in your face, it ain't gonna work for you. He'll break you down, but he'll he'll break you down and then pick you back up. It seems like everybody that works with you says you're tough, it's not for everybody, but you're always there for them. What's the secret to your success? Because a lot of people have been successful coming through here. So when they, people say it's hard, I make it hard. If you bring me your son or your daughter, I, I, I have an obligation to give your son or your daughter everything I got. What I'm teaching these kids is not just for the court. Everybody's not gonna make it. I tell them that all the time. You gotta understand, you gotta be willing to put in all this work and understand it still might not happen. But when you hit life and you're going for a job or when you're going for Indian life, you're not going to know how to quit. Stevie's found the most success with the girls he trains. And in the last two years, over 30 have received scholarships or have gone on to play college basketball. Western Kentucky, uh, Hawaii University, it's all over Cal State Fullerton, uh, Cal State San Bernardino. It doesn't matter about the money or he doesn't care if he met, first met you, he'll always go 100% with anything he does. Yeah, he's, he's crazy, but like that's the best thing about him. You know, he, even when he doesn't want to be here, he still shows up for us and he's there for us no matter what. He's just a genuine person. You just don't find him like anywhere really. Like you come here, you train and like you get hooked from then on. Stevie, tell me about your grandmother. You, you said that she uh, is very responsible for where you are today. Everything that I built was just off of her. Just like hearing her story, I wanted to work hard. I wanted to make her proud. What I tried to take was just her energy of just love and energy my mom gave me love and just pour it out to people. You and I traded phone calls and text messages of what we were gonna tape this, right? And we ended on June 23rd. And if you look behind your shoulder, June 23rd is your grandmother's birthday. I think she's here with you right now. Yeah, man. I know she is, man. It's, I know for the first time in my life for seven years, I'm doing exactly what I was born to do. My gift from God is a connection with kids and people. And I wanted to go to the NBA. I wanted to be 6'9", Michael Jordan. But to these kids, I am 6'9", Michael Jordan, just in a different way. Hmm. Stevie, it was a pleasure, my man. Keep doing what you're doing.